Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us today on our channel. Today, we are going to take you on a journey to one of the most secret and inaccessible places on Earth, the Forbidden Island. Deep in the Bay of Bengal lies the North Sentinel Island, home to the Sentinelese tribe. These indigenous people have been living in complete isolation for thousands of years, with no contact with the outside world. Their existence has remained a mystery, shrouded in secrecy and protected by Indian law. Yet, Recent events have brought the island and its people back into the public eye. We are going to reveal the secrets of this mysterious tribe and reveal the journey of one man who ventured to the island, only to meet his tragic fate. This is a story of survival, tragedy, and humanity at its most primal. We will take you on a journey to hell and back, as we explore the mysteries of the Sentinelese tribe and their forbidden island. So sit back, grab a snack, and join us on what promises to be a thrilling adventure. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Let's take this journey together. Have you ever heard of the Sentinelese tribe? They are a group of indigenous people who live on a remote island in the Indian Ocean. The island is known as North Sentinel Island, and it is one of the most isolated places on Earth. The Sentinelese have lived on this island for thousands of years, and they have had very little contact with the outside world. The Sentinelese are known for their hostility towards outsiders. They have been known to attack anyone who comes too close to their island, and they have even killed people in the past. This has made it very difficult for researchers and anthropologists to study them. Despite the danger, there are still some people who are willing to take the risk and try to make contact with the Sentinelese. One such person was John Chow, an American missionary who traveled to North Sentinel Island in 2018. Chow's mission was to spread Christianity to the Sentinelese people. He knew that it was illegal to visit the island without permission from the Indian government, but he decided to go anyway. He hired some local fishermen to take him as close as possible to the island and then he paddled a kayak towards shore. As soon as Chow set foot on the island, he was met with hostility from the Sentinelese. They shot arrows at him and chased him away. Chow retreated back to his kayak and paddled away from shore. But Chow didn't give up that easily. He returned to North Sentinel Island several times over the course of a few days, each time getting closer and closer to shore. On his final visit, he was killed by members of the tribe. Chow's death sparked a lot of controversy and debate about whether or not outsiders should be allowed to make contact with isolated tribes like the Sentinelese. Some argue that it is important for researchers and anthropologists to study these tribes in order to learn more about human history and culture. Others argue that it is disrespectful and dangerous to try to make contact with people who have made it clear that they want to be left alone. The story of John Chow and the Sentinelese tribe is a fascinating one, full of danger, mystery, and controversy. It raises important questions about the ethics of studying isolated tribes, as well as the dangers of trying to make contact with them. 